Hey, what's up? This is Joe. I'm in uh, Lake Chapala in the state of Jalisco. And uh, I wanted to make this video to share with you a journey I took to the Isla de la Piedra, which is uh, actually not even uh, so much of an island uh, as an archipelago right across uh, the bay from, uh, from Mazatlan. I went there two times. The first time was on my motorcycle. There were wild goats and interesting rocky terrain so it was fun to to sort of get out there and cut loose for a while on my bike and uh, and play around on the rocks so immediately after i came back to mazatlan i invited lily and her son fernando to uh to join me on a boat ride over which uh ended up costing like four bucks uh for the three of us so it was really cheap isla de la piedra itself most of the inhabitants uh get around on four wheelers or motorcycles so it's just really interesting to go there and see that as always uh, if you enjoyed this video please hit like and subscribe and uh, as usual i've included an optional donate link in the drop box if you'd like to contribute to this project otherwise thanks for watching and we'll see you on the road hey so it's thanksgiving day uh, the weather's about 82 degrees, pretty mild. So I am heading to uh, Isla Piedras, uh, which is about an hour south. Yeah, I've been sitting around camp and at Lily's place, not really doing much riding. It's important for me to get out there and actually practice. Just so I'm sort of ready and comfortable on the bike enough that I can make quick decisions uh, while I'm in the middle of crazy traffic and stuff. So, Having spent a number of weeks at my camp in Mazatlan and at Lily's place, I was ready to get out and do some riding. Realizing the need to keep my skills sharp for the crazy hustle-bustle traffic of the city, I headed to the Isla de la Piedra, or Stone Island, about an hour's ride south. Not really so much an island as an archipelago, the Isla de la Piedra attracts tourists from Mazatlan wanting to venture outside of the city. It's about a seven minute boat ride, but is also accessible via land in the route that I took through marshland. Coconut groves. And thatch roof palapas nestled in the trees. Being somewhat isolated from the mainland, most of the inhabitants get around on four-wheelers, by far the easiest way of navigating the rough, narrow streets. I encountered this sand floor palapa on the beach and settled in to order lunch and watch the goings on. Yes, yes. Live entertainment. So this is a dish of uh, shrimp, octopus, vegetables, 
Uh, the traditional Sinaloense way of uh, eating mariscos typically is with a pinch of uh, sea salt like that and uh, some freshly squeezed limes. These limes are awesome. And uh, mineral water at the ocean. Guy was out there just juggling uh, flaming batons while the other guy was on the bongo. Got live entertainment, got the ocean. What more can you ask? So the beach out here looks very calm. Looks like it'd be a very good place for swimming. Uh, in Mazatlan, is, uh, a lot of the beaches got a really strong rip, uh, rip tide a lot of times. Some of the beaches have a lot of rocks and stuff, but this looks absolutely tranquil, beautiful. Got motos. <laughs> so we'll have to come back here uh, with Lily at some point and check this out. After lunch, I set out to explore the south end of the island, which features an enormous rock monolith from which the place gets its name. Just a stone's throw across this inlet is where you can catch the ferry back and forth from Baja, which I took last year. The experience is quite remarkable, and if you're interested, I covered the journey in a couple of my earlier videos. I guess they're wild. So I'm sitting on the uh, Isla Piedras or Stone Island, so named because it's rocky as shit. There's Mazatlan over there. If you go all the way as far south as you can go in Mazatlan, there's a ferry that'll take you right over here. The harbor's like right over there, it looks like. I rode my bike. It took about an hour from uh, where I was camped uh, on the north end of town. Um, there's not a bridge uh, connecting these two, so uh, having fun playing on the rocks. Immediately after I got back to Mazatlan, I called up Lily to invite her and her son Fernando for a boat ride back to the island. The next day we loaded up into her four-cylinder Japanese sedan and headed for the harbor, driving through the rocky outcrops of Playa Sur. The man you see in this statue is the late Pedro Infante, a beloved Mexican movie star from Mazatlan famous for riding a motorcycle in many of his movies. We going now, buddy. We're 
we're heading to the uh, Isla de Piedras, the stone island that uh, you just saw me on the other day uh, on my motorcycle. I think I was uh, the only gringo there on a motorcycle. Everybody else takes the boat over. So we're gonna do the touristy thing and take the boat over. One of you guys had uh, suggested throw some water stuff in there, do some stuff, get out on the water and, uh, and show us some of that. So that's what I'm doing. Always aim to please, gracias. So we'll see you on the water. Como se llama? Esta isla? El Faro. Es el Faro. There's a big ass lighthouse up there. You may have seen it in one of my previous videos. Okay, so we got the simple option uh, rather than go with the full tour. This cost about 450 uh, US dollars. So uh, this is, uh, I'm guessing that's our boat. Es nuestra lancha. Seguramente. Un poquito más sencillo. I like the simplest option. So that's our boat. All right. Buenas tardes. Without vest? <laughs> Just don't fall over. <laughs> si tu estas in la lancha, tu estas bien. Yeah. Si tu estas en el agua, tu no estas bien. <laughs> <laughs> There's the Barrow Lighthouse. I'm trying to remember where Baja Ferries comes in. I think that's Baja. <laughs> where I was fucking around on the rocks the other day. It's uh, right over there. There are goats over there, cabrito. And muchos cabritos in cerca allá. Posiblemente tu puedes verlos. Pescaro zarreada. Zarangado. Zarandeado. 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 Más tranquila. Más tranquila. Más tranquila. No todo bien. Cálmate. There's a lot of people in the road when I was on the way over here. I just like to fuck with her and speak in, in regular southern English like I speak. So yeah, there was a lot of people on the beach out here. Uh, I was on the way, you know. On the way? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. A bunch of, bunch of damn traffic. Motherfucker driving around. Crazy motherfuckers out there. Know what I mean? No? No. Earlier on the boat, Lily and I had been discussing a famous fish dish I'd seen on the menu a couple of times. Pescado zarandeado. When we inquired to the server about trying it, he invited us to the back to choose our fish. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. ¿El pescado es aquí con usted? Sí. Ah, ya ver. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Grande, chiquito. Uno como para los tres, ¿cómo lo recomienda? No, no, pues ustedes los cogen, ustedes dicen cuál. Así. No, pues era grande. Se voy a arrancar. Suficiente para tres, ¿verdad? ¿Así? Sí, sí, usted. Sí, bien. Sí, sí. Excelente. Uno de kilo y medio. Quisiéramos uno, un, tal vez un poquito más pequeñito que este, como de un kilo y medio. ¿Cuál nos puede recomendar? Kilo y medio. Por favor. Sí. Este, este. Está perfecto. Sí. sí. Muchas gracias. <risa> Okay, ¿Cómo cuánto más, más o menos? No, 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 ya van directo, lo que yo abro ya van directo, ya lo pongo. Ándele. Gracias. Gracias. Un poco en la playa. Muy rico. Muchas gracias. After a torturous 25 minute wait, our fish arrived. <laughs> the 
fresh fish is covered with sliced tomatoes, peppers, onions, and spices, then wrapped in aluminum foil. It's then placed on the grill where the juice of the vegetables effectively steams the fish, the foil keeping in all the flavor. This is the cabeza de pescado. This is one of my favorite parts, one of the most uh, flavorful parts. You got the cheek, there's the jawbone, obviously. Uh, the brain presumably is in there somewhere. That's pretty flavorful as well. A little bit of cheekbone. It's like butter. It's like delicious, slightly melted fish butter. Absolutely delicious. So then the best part, obviously, is the uh, obvious, I say obvious, is the eye. El ojo es lo mejor. It's the best part of the entire fish. The way you do this, best way is uh, push it through the back, like that. There's the eye. Delicious. You gotta watch out, there's a hard uh, shell inside of the eye that, uh, that you can't really eat, so um, you gotta watch out for that. But the consistency is, again, like butter. It's like butter. One of the other best parts is the tail. Not much to it, but it's kind of like a fish potato chip. Delicious. For a casa. So the water is uh, out here a lot more calm than um, a lot of the other places in uh, Mazatlan. So uh, I might actually do some swimming. And actually swim out there a little ways. Probably not to those boats, but um, we'll probably swim out there a little ways. So, these stuff. is playing strong these are all palapas with food and stuff people selling stuff mostly baked goods somebody's got a paria going strong over there I can see the smoke <laughs> Following a full day on the island, we headed for the boat that would take us back to Mazatlan. Next to and yet isolated from a major metropolitan area such as Mazatlan, the Isla de la Piedra was a welcome break from the insanity of the city. As is true almost anywhere, sometimes you just have to get off the beaten path to unwind and enjoy yourself. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.